Yeah, why not? Let's turn up on a Tuesday, people. First up, a trailblazer buys a vineyard. CJ McCollum and his newly pregnant wife, Elise, congrats, by the way, are diving deeper into the wine business and taking tons of photos to prove it. They seriously sent us all of these. It was super nice of them. The couple announced today they bought a 318 acre vineyard in the Willamette Valley near Carlton. It's not ready for production yet, even though CJ is clearly very into it based on that pose. Uh, they plan to start, quote, laying out the site next year. In the meantime, you can still get drunk on McCollum's wine label, Heritage 91, isn't that nice? He launched it last year and it's releasing a new Pinot Noir later this month. Congrats to them, that's really cool. That being said, do not, do not expect college kids to drink that wine or any other because apparently they don't drink much of anything anymore. Well, that's actually an exaggeration, but weed is winning them over. According to the Washington Post, a new survey shows a record 44% of college students reported using marijuana in 2020. That's up from 38% in 2015. At the same time, drinking rates dropped to new lows from 62% in 2019 to 56% in 2020. These are marginal changes, but they're still records nonetheless. And parents, I know, you know, we assume that none of this is really that comforting. So we're just gonna, we're gonna move on. Let's move on, let's go. Cheers now to Von Ebert Brewing, whose volatile substance IPA was just named the top American IPA at the Great American Beer Festival. And based on their Instagram, we can tell you they are mildly excited. <laughs> I love that. It happened last week. The Oregonian reports breweries based here in Oregon took home 15 medals at the annual competition put on by the Brewers Association. Congrats, guys. And that does it for your latest edition of Vice News.